You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, the Brittany Griner thing is getting more and more people to come out and talk about her situation. Of course, she was arrested in Russia. Uh, going through customs as a, a dog alerted to something in her bag, and they're saying it was vape cartridges with cannabis oil in it. Now, in Russia, this is very, very serious. In some, in some states in the United States, it's very, very serious. Um, and then uh, there's all kinds of other issues. Of course, Russia is at war with the Ukraine after the invasion. That obviously makes this a lot more complicated. The other day, in a CNN uh, article, it was it was said by a lawmaker it was going to be very, very difficult to get Brittany Griner out. Well, now uh, Reggie Miller, the uh, legendary basketball player that played for the Indiana Pacers, hell of a three-point shooter, a pit bull on the court, has come out sort of shilling for Brittany's return. And it seems like uh, Mr. Miller, along with that Texas uh, Congress lady that keeps making comments, she's making comments now that they're false charges. Well, Miller's making comments like we sh uh, that the Russia should just ignore their own laws and just, uh, and just send Brittany back like she, uh, she did nothing wrong. Well... That's not what they're saying. I'm not telling you who to believe. Uh, I'm just saying other countries do have laws, and what we think, honestly, is, is not part of their decision-making process. That's what's so odd about so many people. Just, just, just let her go. She's nothing to see here. Please move along. NBA legend Reggie Miller on WNBA Star's arrest. I hope for safe package, passage back for Brittany. I think everybody, you know, you would think would want her to come back and be fine whenever her, if she is found to be guilty, whenever that's over, I don't know. Brittany Griner's arrest in Russia has sparked fears about her safety and prayers that she will be able to make a safe trip home. A WNBA star was arrested last month after authorities said a search of her luggage revealed vape cartridges containing oil derived from cannabis, Griner could face up to a decade in prison if she's convicted. I'm telling you, they take this kind of thing very seriously. Basketball Hall of Famer Reggie Miller told Fox News Digital in a recent interview that he was praying that the Phoenix Mercury Center can get back to the U.S. safely. I hope for a safe passage back for Brittany. Again, you know, not knowing all the particulars, I know it's not right for them to detain her. Why exactly is that not right if she broke their law? Uh, that's, uh, that's being completely lost on some people. Quote, I don't even think we know where she is. Now, that, that's more of a problem. I'm sure the State Department does. Well, okay, that's probably who should know. I'm sure the State Department does. But there's still very little information about coming out of Russia right now. That's what's a little bit disturbing. Miller, who teamed up with Wendy's again for the company's March Madness campaign, is set to call for some of the men's basketball games over the next month. Told Fox Digital he only played abroad a few times, but never experienced anything like Grinders going through. Quote, I pray for a safe passage, whose sister Cheryl is also a Hall of Famer and a women's basketball pioneer. I think all that we can do from my standpoint and us as Americans is hope for a safe return. Representative, Representative Sheila Jackson Lee, Democrat, Texas, said Tuesday that Griner was among the Americans being held on, quote, false charges. Even though the video came out, you can see where they're looking through her bag. You can see that Brittany is standing right there while while they are doing it. Um, so I'm not sure I'm not sure where the false charges thing always comes in. Quote, here's the point for all of those being held in Russia, all of those Americas being held 
in Russia on false charges. They should be released now. Lee said vowing not to put anyone in more danger. And so, um, and, and look, uh, again, I think everybody wants her to probably come back safe, right? Uh, but, but the idea that Russia is just going to ignore laws that were broken in their country. Now, that doesn't make me pro-Russia. This could have happened in Mexico, okay, or in Canada. And if you broke that country's law, that's just what you did, allegedly, right? And we've seen that video. We've seen the mugshot come out. And uh, we'll continue to watch this. We've got Reggie Miller going out there uh, saying it's not right for Russia to have de having detained her. And, um, man, it's strange. It's strange. Laws are laws regardless of what country you're in. Can we get to some self-responsibility of maybe you shouldn't have been carrying cannabis oil allegedly into a country where it's highly against the law? Okay, I mean, I, let's be honest, and it's a country that already looks sideways at you because of your personal lifestyle. Even if you didn't bring that personal lifestyle directly into their country, if they know about it, they're already going to have one eye on you. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm just saying you can bet they did that probably, okay? I'm just, just some honesty. I mean, for real. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.